Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. Very happy to be here for show number 3196, returning for our Crate Crust and Chain Challenge in Spelunky 2. Let me put my PB here in the title. PB is... 759 for this particular challenge anyways let's get a hopped into the mine shaft here and then we'll get caught up every chat you want to support get some penguin in the hole going and kick it off seems good hey what's good sofa meyer legendary ludwig hey there casually challenged patchy prime heavy light it's good sun bro op newell rabbit salvo Kelk, lord of creatures up kswa melody bunny qualt armetheus ryan's bag and all the other cool early people yo before i get kicked off with some penguin in the hole here brian's bag thanks for 22 months kswa thanks for that tier 2 85 months patchy prime thanks for almost 70 dude appreciate that heavy lie thanks for 14 and legendary ludwig thanks for 19 months enjoy your lurk all right penguin in the hole Penguin to the moon. There it is. Penguin 180, turn around, chair, sit down. Here we go. Good enough. All right, might as well start with the daily today. Can make it around here. Might as well. An extremely profitable start here. Oh, okay, that's fine. Later, Tata. Yo, Dacus Terra. Thanks so much for 118. Two more for a decade. Thank you. I got voice echoes here. I'm going to use one bomb for one crate here. I got to set this up right so that this block still exists. Looks good. What we got? Paste, okay. Paste is definitely an interesting pickup. And more bombs. Beautiful. Really tricky level. Okay, doesn't look like the dwelling is behind this, which is good. Okay, that's too bad, but also fair. Okay, here it is. As long as I'm not losing out on Ujat, I am pretty happy here. It's a big concern on a voice echoes. Yo, Bethal, thanks for an awesome year. Howdy. Thanks for bringing that corn dog. Appreciate it. Pixel perfect toss by Jay. Awesome.
do, 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 do. Right, we're doing fine on money. 30 seconds left. Let's just check over here real quick. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna take a rock with me here. Never mind. Thought that was one three for some reason. Probably because the level was so uh so long. What's in here? More bombs, alright. Got a cool looking shrine. Turkey pouch. Okay, if I'm not getting Kapala, I'd rather, rather rescue the turkeys at the moment. Yo, Wafflecopter, thanks for 80 months. Appreciate that continuation. Have as good a day at work as you possibly can, dude. Thank you. Just how it is right there. Okay, I'm looking like maybe I don't get Turkey Town? Yeah, Turkey Town's behind this store. Yeah, there's, we're just not getting to that. That's a fact. Um, okay. Well, hold on a minute. Yep, not going to happen. Fair enough. to rescue Percy, but at the same time, pretty good hit. Really? Okay. Oh, no. That was scary. Yeah, I goofed that. No? Do, 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 do. All right, then. Um, I guess we're going to commit a bomb to get through, which is fine. Go rescue this kidders. Ooh, crate back here. What is it? Power pack, that's interesting.
All right, then. Yo, fish in the face. Thanks so much for 60 months. Thanks for five years, dude. Thank you. Too kind today. More spike pit, huh? Okay. Already at 64,000, so let's just go. Interesting. Probably on the... In here? Oh, I see it down there. Well, since we got power pack bombs, we can just grab that. Oh my god. I did that. Okay, this is fine. Nice ropes. Plenty of time here. Cool black market, by the way. Later, Tater. So we got bow and one item over here. Oh yeah. Uh, can I dig my way out of here? I can. It's not an easy one, but possible. Shrine right here, right on. And a witch doctor. Interesting. Okay, we got body right there, so that'd be two points away. Body here too, that's one point. They're running out of time too, though. We'll see on that. I do have Clover, so we got time. I think this is Kapala. Not mistaken, might be.
Yeah, all right. The Paula Git. Feels nice because it is nice. Yo, Plasnar, thanks for 85 months. Thanks so much for that continuation, dude. Appreciate it. Alright, 10 bombs, 10 ropes, spring shoes, pace is pretty sweet run for our crate crust and chain challenge. Check up top for crates here. Actually, we can break this down first. It's probably be better policy. I've forgotten the to do this a few times. Well, it only costs us one extra bomb. Might as well just add that to the first part of the, the thing. Alright, looking good. I could drop down here. I'm going to go ahead and do the quick method. Might as well since I have spring shoes. It's quick and it looks cool. Awesome. Oh, God, six things for 86 months. Thank you so much for that continuation. Thank you all for that amazing support today and, and every day. Would not have this experience without you. Never forget.
Okay, with Power Pack here, we can, can keep the Ankh alive, which is pretty awesome. We're going to have to do a very specific technique, and hopefully it's available on the third, uh, third level here. No crates back here. You've been squashed. Yeah, I'm just looking back here. Fair enough. Ooh, is that going to be Shrine over there? This looks like it. Okay, Pitcher's Mitt's nice. Is this a shrine or not? Not a shrine. Kind of looked like there was going to be one here. Okay, well, just in case, we're going to take the uh, Excalibur here. Okay, here we go. Yikes, dude, I don't like that. Okay, so we want to take off our power pack one tile above the exit. It's right here. That's going to drain the lava automatically. Very nice. Yo, Udamonia, thanks for 41 months. Enjoy that continued lurk. So that's really rare to occur here on this challenge because we aren't going to have power pack on most runs. That's, that's true. But it is something that can happen, so that's nice. More bombs, love it. You got ropes. This is the most flush run for resources I've had since we started this challenge. Okay, let's go here. Hey, it's a key eater. Ropes looks good. Our PB is currently 759, Satung. Also keeping that update in the title. Nothing wrong with asking either. Right, it's going to be fall damage if we fall right now. I can wait for him to come up. There we go. Okay, what do we got for our journal entry here? Simple Jade Bat. Simple Jade Bat. Okay. Definitely not opposed to grabbing more health here.
hot dog. I'm out of here. Not even the right way, okay. Okay, so we lost our elevator there. I think I can make this by jumping over. I can. Okay, I think Simple Jade Bad is what I remember. Simple Jade Bad is the one. Oh yeah, fair enough, Zatung. There's lots of reason you couldn't see that. Like I said, nothing wrong with asking. 7.59 currently. There's Smiling Jade Bat. There's Simple Jade Bat. Got him. Oh my god. We're fine. Scary, though. All right. Don't mind me, Spelunky. Just coming through here. Oh no. Okay, this is fine. Ish. I think I'm bombing through right here. Trust it. Here we go. Lower. Let's chill on this for a sec. It'd be to my benefit here to collect what health I can. Let's keep an eye out for crates. It's feeling to be like the challenge area isn't here. need to find Waddler, though. Grab this for health. Oh, 
Okay, there's definitely no challenge area here. So that's for sure. Oh, this isn't the way up. Interesting. So... It's really tough there. Let's just get this guy down here. There we go. Great is... What do you think you're doing, Buster? Well, I think that... I didn't do that. That's what I think. Not my fault. Okay, maybe a little bit my fault. Oh, that's right. Three damage there. Sorry, Percy. Percy was a bit doomed in that situation. Oh no. What? Okay. I'm uh, curious why the spike trap didn't hit me there. I'm guessing we were too low to the ground, but uh, lucky. Lucky for sure. That was definitely harrowing. Yeah, we might have been in iframes there. That's that's a fair assessment, too. I think that might be it. Iframes are definitely a thing. Yeah, I've been hit while laying down, too. I agree. Um, okay. I'll use a bomb for glasses. It's equipment we don't have. Run's actually pretty flush for what this challenge is. Okay, there's puppers. Oh. What's this? There it is. Let me go ahead and grab the health. I mean, um, we have the Ankh intact, and this challenge is really tough, so might as well get every advantage we can grab here. trap has not gone off yet. Um, has this one, though? The answer is no on that. Uh, I don't trust it. I'm gonna use a rope here. It had gone off. There's two back layer entrances on this map. That is uh, interesting. Oh, 
All right, Hundun climb time. Saw that item over there, but I'm not confident in having time to do that. I just want to get this done. all cleaned up. Yeah, it's kind of nasty with the water, but fair. Still working on the timing on this one. It's tough. Well, I didn't go great. I said it's the best one yet. Oh, this could knock down. It'd be water. A little odd. All right, we did it all the way to Cosmic Ocean on the daily on our Crate Crust and Chain Challenge. Feels nice because it is nice. I think we have pretty reasonable open here. I'm going to leave that orb for last. Okay, there's arrow falling here. No. Guessing that frog set it off right away. Also, just loop around, but yeah, it was worth some tries. Yo, Rulon, thanks for eighty-four months. That is seven years of support. Thank you, thank you. Hey, welcome in Gastoff. Glad you could make it. Oh, yeah.
Hmm. Honestly, pretty big level here. Two orbs directly below here. That's nice. It's worth a try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, yeah. Can't quite make it around there. Hmm. I'm going to use a rope here. Telepack is interesting, but uh, honestly not that interested. A very dangerous proposition. So it's going to be Orb 3, because it's uh, right near the exit here. That's 2, so 3 is lined up here. Ooh, Freeze Ray, too. Interesting. Freeze Ray is, like, maybe actually kind of functional here, but uh, with 19 ropes, less so. Three scene here. It's right above the exit in a very awkward location. Seems rope worthy. See, that's tough, because there's not really a good way over. I guess we can probably make this jump. Eh, it's a little dubious. I'm going to be forced to use a rope. Where do I want to use it? Probably on the outside here somewhere. Let's go this here, this way. I can see this is the edge. I'm going to drop through. There could be some hazards down here, but it's not like there's arrow traps, so less concern than usual.
Hmm, yikes. to see where the exit is. Oh my god, no. Am I dead? Ammon dead? Amazing. That was really lucky. Okay, so the exit has to be down? Or on the very top? Here? Hmm, where is this exit, though? Okay, that's actually kind of a gross last orb. Maybe I can throw something at that. Looks pretty perilous. want this one for last. It's the bottom line. This jump is also really tough to pull off. Not impossible. You can hang out above the jelly and jump over. Seems a little dubious, though. I think my best play is going to be bombing into that orb. And while I don't want to use one of my eight bombs, um, I accept that I'll have to. Take care of this problem, too. Is that just falling? Yeah, okay. Huh. Alright, that was worth it. Not convinced I can just get that one without uh, bombing through here. Do I do a series of ropes? I'm at two minutes already? I think I do. Not exactly amused with that. That's a lot of rope usage. But. That's how it was. we made a good choice there. There's probably a better way to get that orb that I spent all the ropes on, but it kept us within our time limit. And most levels I just won't need to use a rope on. Yo, Airborne Pingo, thanks so much for 90 months. Really appreciate that. That's good, Beargo. 
of cool people here today. Loving it. I'd like to have this sorted out, but we'll see what happens here. Uh, all right, we're not going to drop down the left-hand side. That's what I just learned. Not yet, anyways. Okay, there's spikes there. Hmm, I see. How do? This feels like you can drop down safely. A little curious on that. Let's find out. Okay, not quite safely, but close. Up where I thought I was going to. Okay, we are right next to the exit here, though, so good. Dang, corn guards, it's really been 41 months already. Where did that time go? Crate. Okay, I mean, don't see that every day. that. Okay. Go over this way. Whew. I see, bully. Great. Use a rope here. Let's 
It's a little bit wasteful. I just went out of the situation. I can always drop through. I haven't seen the top right hand side, so I think a rope is warranted. Resources, after all, are use them or lose them in Spelunky. That's a great last orb. So is that. I guess this is it then. Well, let's go. Hmm. Is there another way? I'll take a risk here. Oh yeah, I got parachute. No risk involved. Ow. <laughs> Just trying to whip it. I think a boomerang might be nice to hold on to here for a minute. Get a little extra blood. Or a little more tools at our disposal. Grab this crate. Spring shoe for the other foot. All right. Bombs, love it. Yeah, thanks, Under. It's been a good run for sure. not cool. Oh, GG. I cut in too early. Fair enough. Good daily for our crate crust and chain challenge. Pretty happy with that. Yo, Ray Vlad, thanks for 84 months. Appreciate that seven years as well. Thank you. Hey, not bad, man. All right, let's, uh, let's just go into another regular run here. is cool. Boy, that's some stuff right there. Okay, there's shrine right there, so no way we're doing that. No way. 
should be able to dislodge the puppers for the shrine here. This mole too, I guess. Let's go, bud. Let's go. Ooh, yellow cape. Okay. Definitely not going to be displeased with back equipment. That's big. Okay, here's one turkey. So it'll cost me a rope to go into Turkey Town. I think that's probably worth it. Oh, hey, look at that. I missed that little bit. So I can get up there with the turkeys. I've already put a mole on the shrine too, so this, this is going to be uh, Kapala. Let's do that. Any way for me to weasel this without a rope? There's not. Kapala good. Nice. Casual F jump. No big deal. Yeah, the jetpack in Duot is uh, not a randomized drop. It drops from Anubis too. There's no shrine involved. Right. Um, I don't have a rock or something yet. Hmm. So we're gonna take. Oh, I see. I stopped him from going over there. I get it now. I get it now. Should just be one more hit, maybe two here. Oops. 
just looking. Yo, a tiny spider. Thanks so much for 12 months. Appreciate that year. Thank you, thank you. Good, Damski. Heard Black Market is right below the sister here. Hmm. I'm going to grab this statue at least. A really long drop down, so it's unlikely we can climb back up here naturally. Meaning, once we're in the black market, we're more or less committed. black market, dude. More than a couple, uh, more than a couple. Okay, let's see here. So definitely looking for crates. crates here. Fair enough. snap. They hit with the arrow there? That's what happened, huh? Fair enough. So the act of being airborne was what caused the damage there. Okay. 
Okay, I see that there is a shrine here. Not opposed to picking up a health or two. Okay, that's not great, but could be worse. Okay, here we go. Alright, just checking for crates up here. awesome. Oh, no, I goofed here. Okay, I gotta go over here fast. Okay, I was further uh, left than I thought I was. That's good. Looking good. I was close. Let's just leave.
Okay, we're just gonna grab Excalibur and get out of here. Alright. I'm gonna go in now and uh, give up our Onk to get the skip here. Ricky. Okay, not a bad entrance. Let's check in for items real quick. Cracked Jade Bat. Cracked Jade Bat. That's the one. I go back for my uh, damsel if there was not an exploding crab in the way. But there is. Yellow cape in the crust, too. Neat. Yellow cape the run. All right, here we go. Crate right here. I want that. Is this another yellow cape? Oh, teleporter. Interesting. I'm uh, not down with teleporter right now. This isn't even the right way. Uh oh. Spaghetti. Here's the urn area, so we did not miss it.
next pass should be good. Alright, looking for Cracked Jade Bat, I think. Cracked Jade Bat it is. There's a Tall Jade Bat. Smiling Jade Bat. Not too much space left. There's Crack Jade Bat right there. That's the one. That's what we're here for. Kind of got to be left here. Hmm. Ooh, yes. Yes, I will. You know what? I'm going to bomb here, too, with my newfound dozen bombs. Going up. Lower. I haven't seen Waddler yet. There it is. Any shrine or anything here? No? Okay. Challenge was not on 7 1. That much I'm sure, and here it is on 7 2. It's dead. All right.
right. Much trickier me don't have uh don't have any movement equipment. No crate there. Okay, arrow trap right there, I almost hit. Alright, here we go. Juicy. Yo, -ho, whale noises. Thanks so much for 40 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you. Here are shoots for dates. Seems like that's not the way. Happened here. Hmm. All right, Hundun, climb time. It's fine. Bombs, cool. I'd really like some more ropes. We're ropeless so far on this run. Not even the right way. Okay, fair enough. I could have I could have figured that out if I just would have paid attention. Oh, I didn't grab it? Holy crap. Hold on a minute. Oh no. Oh no. Hello. Hello. I think this is okay. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> do do. Hit. 
That's definitely our best snake kill yet. Definitely. Getting better at that. All right, we made it back to Cosmic Ocean. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, Yellow Cave is really nice to have here, but it's our only equipment currently, which is a little grim. What's nice about Yellow Caves allows us to go into the in-between area uh, much more safely, which is definitely to our advantage. Yep, we've also found zero ropes so far this run. Oh, snap. I was looking at that cat right there. Well, good run nonetheless. Just, uh, just got smushed. That'll happen. All right, let's go into uh, let's go into another one here. That was a fair run. Very low equipment and ropes. All in all, went pretty good. I'd run one with a crush jetpack or a crate jetpack, Triton. Though, really, the jetpack's not the point of this challenge. You might win with a jetpack, but... Um, well, it's still definitely in the spirit of the challenge. I'm not, like, it, really excited to see jetpack in this one. It's kind of a nice, uh, a nice rarity. Good. Yeah, and there's all the ropes from our last run. rescue this turkey right now. There's Yang's turkey town. thought we made that. Fair enough, though. Alright, let's see what's in Turkey Town here. Alright. Turkey Town was a bus. Fair enough. Okay, well, we got shrine here. I have 10 ropes, I'd definitely be willing to rope uh, rope for peppers. Alright, here's Percy. Percy is going to require a uh, a bomb here. How do we do this? 
while still maintaining our ability to climb back up here. Bomb right. This shouldn't be that tough. Let's bomb on this side. Make sense. Right here. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Alright, so force bomb here. And that's okay. What's back here? Alright. What's on the shrine? Alright, spring shoes. Spring shoes are cool. Spring shoes make it much less likely we need ropes. I want to look up here real, too real quick. It's got a feeling. Alright, feeling denied. Wow, thanks Daisy Dew. My cat Daisy has brought stuffed armadillo. Thanks. Thanks for bringing Dilly over. What a good kidders. What a good kidders. Oh, but you guys are getting pretty excited for the uh, Bellatro release on the 20th, and then uh, Backpack Battles, and it's Early Access on March 8th. Some very nice stuff coming around the corner here. All right, I'm going to use a rope here. Oh, wow. Secondary Spring Shoes. Oh yeah, and there's tons of new uh, animated emotes coming in the very near future. Gonna be awesome. Might as well do a two damage hit here. All right, so there's an interaction with the lizard and a quillback, which is pretty spicy. Careful here. Okay, feeling better already. Doing great on money here enough to enter the challenge and buy Hajit as is. All right, parachute. And that's why you don't run mad. Yeah, so if you throw a lizard at Quillback, a Quillback pops up like other enemies would. So you can actually get like a really scary situation. There's a back layer there, but since we're not buying items, that's less desirable. Uh huh. Okay. He's helping. Yep, can even hit you on the ladders. That's right. That's right. Hey, cat. We were all mad here. Thanks so much for three months of advanced sub, and thanks so much for that sub support. Really appreciate that, cat. Thanks for keeping it official. Said it before, I'll say it again. Recurring subscription is the best way to support my content. Thank you so very much. Right, right here. Let's go. Oh, what we got 
bombs. I'll take those. Nine bombs, nine ropes. Pretty good right now. Nothing wrong with it. help me. Can you help me out by taking a big old nap here, bud? Thanks. Thanks. Oh, crate. Okay, hold on. Um... Need to pop this before the helping hand wakes up and pops it for me. about that, man. Alright, dude. Whatever. Whatever, dude. That was the caveman dying, right? I just don't... I don't trust that the helping hand's alive right now. That's the problem. Okay, he's living. Black market blippins right away. Right here? Down below. Yikes, look at that. I'm gonna check for a shrine real quick. With uh spring shoes, there should be no issue in getting back up here. Jungle really doesn't generate um, layouts that you can't get to. Where is this thing? Here? What? what? Oh, it's in here. Okay. I got you. Lisa's help. bizarre layout. Okay, we do have spring shoes, so we're not um, as scared about the second phase of Mulmec. Looking for crates here. Ah, oh, alright. Yeah, no shrine's definitely tough here. We've only had a couple of runs go this late since we started the crate crust and chain challenge that did not have a shrine. That's fair. Fortunately, though, we are uh, almost always losing our life on the uh, the normal onk skip. Um, I don't trust that. Let's try this here. That's much better. So not having a health resource here is not a huge issue. 
but we do want to get Kapala sooner rather than later. We have the drop. I'm going to bring him to the wall anyways. Yeah, I can explain. It's definitely a fun way to play Splunky. I'm enjoying this challenge a lot. It's been cool. Do need that. What's a little more help here? Why not? Okay. Ooh. Eggplant chance here. Uh, which one of my helps is the... the best, most sleepy lad is my question right now. That's the one I want to carry my stuff. Okay, there's one. He woke up first. All I get. I guess these are both pretty pretty close to full trained. One dead body away from a jelly. Um, do I care? Uh, 
Bud, get back here, man. What are you doing? He's helping. Two sixteen. Be kind of a little close here, I think. Okay, I could have made that. Fine. Okay, so... Okay, there's a spot right here I can place the helping hand to keep him locked. And even though he's sleeping for two minutes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a quick peek over here, just making sure we're not missing the uh, entrance to the back layer. Looks good. Yeah, I'm going to come back up here once I resurrect anyways, so let's just go down. Okay, here it is. Awesome. Yo, not a spider. Thanks for 102 months of support. Thank you. Yeah, present isn't currently allowed in our... Uh challenge rule set as far as getting items, though I could definitely make a concession there if I wanted. Okay, here we go. Listen up, sir. You did a good job. Now kneel down to receive the highest honor a helping hand can receive. I dub thee Sir Help. He helped me once today. It was awesome, but no more help required. See you in the afterlife, partner. for items. Hmm, let's wait for our Kingu to climb back up one. Simple Gold Onk is the one. Simple Gold Onk. There's the eggplant. Excuse me just one sec. Just a very quick uh, restroom break here, and then we'll continue the run, hoping for eggplant on this one.
Alrighty, we back. Okay, eggplant, uh, here we go. Step one here is we want to get... Oof. Actually, like a really nasty drop down here. I'm going to use a rope. I don't want to, but that's the way it set me up. Here we go. All right, Eggy child, do this. Really? This is this is the way? That was spicy, boy. Can you not? Hey. Oh, my. Okay, well, not much to be done there. Eggplant is as eggplant does. Here we go. Here, item number 20 is simple gold onk. Simple gold onk. Wow, that's a very pinchy situation. Simple gold onk, then. The elevators on this side are kind of inappropriate. Too many. Okay, I mean, there is an item on the other side here, so I'm, like, kind of tempted to ride the dog over, but at the same time, it doesn't look very safe. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use a rope here. Like, using the dog's probably okay, but it might not be. Probably is no guarantee in Spelunky. Next cycle. Using a bomb on top of that was much better than using a rope in hindsight. Alas, here we go. Okay, 
Plenty of money for the challenge. Here we go. Yes, Daisy do. I will eat my lunch in a minute. Gotta make it to Cosmic Ocean first. You don't have to keep looking at me like that. Not even technically time, and I think you know that, Daisy do. I'm being glared at right now by my cat. Such an impatient kidders. I try to collect what health I can here inside of the sunken temple. Definitely going to check this out. Get four more health. Be in a much safer range for the Hundun fight. Hey there, pinball box. What's good, man? What's good? If I see puppers, I'll probably bring them back on the shrine here. Okay, there's there's Poochie. Can we reach Poochie here? Uh, kind of. With a very difficult jump, I can. Oh, there's another way here. It's been a good one, Pinball Box. Thanks. We went from 5 health to 22 health in a couple levels. That's uh, definitely positive.
Let's try this way. Hmm. Okay, it does just go up here. Nice. All right, Hundun climb time. Here we go. Okay, they gave us a vertical right away, which is nice. A little bit of wiggle room here. here and clean up this side it's good get this out of here No water climb. Handy. Not bad. Three damage. Take it. Getting better at that. Alright, we did it. All the way from 1-1 one, one to Cosmic Ocean again today. Nice. We complete this first level of Cosmic Ocean. I will... Uh, I'm going to take a short break for lunch, I guess. Regardless whether we complete this level or not. That's a great last orb. going to leave it there. Now we know. Oh, it's a little weird. All right, before we go any further here, I'm just going to stand up, stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. I encourage you to do all that stuff. Do also grab a quick snack here already prepared. Thanks to my lovely wife. Please do enjoy uh, the kitters that are going to appear here momentarily. I see two kitters making their way over to the, the cat stuff. Be back in just a couple minutes for some more Spelunky 2 action.
All righty, I have returned. Thanks for your patience. Hope you enjoyed the kidders during break time. I know I did. Get a little sip of water here, and then we'll head into the second level of Cosmic Ocean. Currently on this run, only spring shoes. It's definitely low equipment, but not, not critical. That looks like a pretty good one to pop right before the uh, the exit, then. Let's just peek up here. Hmm. It did make a noise, didn't it? Okay, so we can drop back down here. I guess we're going to check out on this side. Because that's what's left. There's two. And here's three. What? Oh no. Oh, that one got me good. That's fair. That's fair. Well, all in all, pretty pretty good day, Lunky. There, we got uh, got to Cosmic Ocean three times. Uh, got Yellow Cape, um, almost eggplant on that one run too. But uh, overall, pretty good. Can't be too upset with that. Uh, we're going to head into uh, some backpack battles now, which is getting its early access release on March 8th. So it'll be a couple weeks after Bellatra release. Got a couple exciting weeks coming up here uh, on stream. Going to get this loaded up here, title changed, and we'll head on in. Get a little music rolling here. All right, here we go. We're just going to start with a Reaper run and we'll alternate the classes here. If you're new to this game, this is a very complete demo. We got two classes coming on March 8th for the uh, early access release. It'll just be like a one to three month uh, endeavor uh, for the devs. Already been about seven months of dev time on this demo. 
anywho, uh, if you're new to the game, it is a asynchronous battler, meaning you're facing other players' builds, but not in a live state. Um, your goal is to uh, improve and populate your backpack with synergizing items to go up against other builds. Okay. This is 0.7, this is 0.9. I'm going to sell the wooden sword and buy the pan on sale. I'm going to buy banana. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this, too. Let's do a roll here. Wow, early armor is, like, pretty good. Second banana and garlic, though. I think that's what we're taking here. We're going to buy this rock uh, and put it in the bag here. For the ranger's uh, class passive, the inside items inside this ranger bag get 10% crit and 3% crit for each luck. Currently at one luck with that. Okay, here we go. We just got outlasted with poison there. That's fair. Ooh, bow here as well. Dang, dude. Well, the issue I have with the bow is I can't fit it into my build right now, though I definitely want to get this. It's a very decent just food synergy here, too, at the banana and blueberry. throw this out here. Might as well. Dang, I can afford this. I'm going to buy it. Honestly, a little bit awkward here, but uh, fair. I think we'll win this next round just because of the double banana and this good panis energy. Doesn't seem unlikely. Indeed. Cool if I keep the food synergy active the way it is. Okay, so weapon hits, bone arrow gains plus one damage up to plus seven. Hmm. Do I want to grab dagger next? I kind of do. It's not hurting anything. Yeah, let's lock this up. Backed. Oh, I like the new stamina bars. I like the showing the regeneration. That's much clearer. It's very cool. Well, with no pan conversion yet, it probably is time to Hungry Blade here. It's a little bit less restrictive on stamina, too. Could also choose to make Shovel this round. Interesting. In addition, I could just buy the... buy the dagger. Maybe shield and then reroll. 
Yeah, let's stick with the pan here. There are other pan synergies I can get. I'm buying this because it sells for the same. Okay, definitely yes. Need inventory space badly. Alright, let's go ahead in this round. Let's get the spike shield made. Let's sell the coal that's inside the pan right now. And we'll do this. We could also make Fortuna's Grace here, huh? Yeah? Yeah? It's true. Weird bag, man. Alright, this guy has some thorns for sure. Oh, look at that banana heal, though. Dang, dude. Ooh, we still won that one. That is surprising and very fortunate here. What's the best we're going to do for right now? Carrot's honestly tempting here. It's pretty good. Oh, I see. I lost the uh, the active on that. Hmm. What about like this? There we go. Now we're cooking. All three weapons inside the ranger bag. These gloves are probably worth. And I think I'm just going to buy the carrot out. Kimkin Goobert right now, huh? Bowen Goobert is a little bit hard to pull off, though not impossible. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I can put the gloves that make sense here. It's a tough one. I always move the ring over, drop the dagger out of the bag, and put the gloves here. This looks pretty good.
think we do want a Goobert after this round. I believe in the Goobert. Healing herbs are honestly pretty nice too, but we have no direct route for those. I guess I could sell Blueberry. It gives me some kind of benefit this round. Blueberry is going to maintain value here, though. Let's just go. Yeah, the issue I was having with thinking about that Carnosaur is that we also want the bow pointed at the pan, so the tough sell. Dang, that's a lot of thorns, dude. Twelve thorns? Almost live regardless. Ooh. Well, this is all making sense. The question is, can I also fit Goobert in here? I think that's a little bit... Hmm, maybe. Fair to say as well that I'm, I'm happy with the stamina consumption here. It's every three seconds, every three seconds is 3.5. Our stamina usage is a little bit out of control right now. Could definitely drop the pan here to get this double bow. Could maybe even point the bows at each other. Tough choice. Fast weapon in between the bows would be ideal. All right, I'm going to sell blueberry because I need to buy this to do anything functional this round. I'm going to pull this out as well. Turn this on its side. Is there anywhere left that I can fit this shield in properly? I guess it's right here, in fact. So many one square spaces here. Configuring like this is better. Maybe not better overall for damage, but uh, the spacing with the bows sideways is just a bit much.
Hmm. Okay. Looks pretty okay. I think pans out. Let's go ahead and rebuy blueberry. Probably shouldn't have sold that first one, but you know, here we go. Also gonna unlock goobs. I don't think goobs is working here. Yo, Renzo, thanks for 136 months. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate that. Arrow's like so awkward to work in here. Not impossible, but it's. Kind of like in the IB here. This might even be a chance where skipping the uh, skipping the class item is best. No, it's got to be arrow here. We'll figure out the the rest here in a minute. <laughs> There's the corrupted crystal to uh, modify the pan. That would have been awesome. I'm gonna roll here. Definitely need this. Hey, Poison Dagger. That's helpful. Yeah, let's get the weapons set up the way we want, and then we'll figure the rest from there. I like the remove armor on crit. I'm debating the actual value of having multiples here. Basically, that has to be it. Let's put the shield here. So we're not going to get a weapon on that side. Fair. Also not getting Poison Dagger currently if I do it this way. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Alright, for this round, let's put the Poison here so we make Poison Dagger. This looks pretty nice. We got uh, three items on chance to activate luck. Then we have bonus crit on the Fortuna's Grace. Let's go ahead and buy this rock because we can. I might be willing to redo this bag next round. I'm pretty happy with how it is. I don't think we're doing much of an improvement by remaneuvering. I 
think we might actually be able to outpower here. No, the poison's going to keep up with us, I think. Yeah. Nice round. Yeah, Snowbear22, uh, thanks for 36 months. We can be added to the uh, the three-year club, no problem. Not below the stream anymore because it's uh, such an uh, emboldened list, but we do have a list floating around. We can get you added. No, thank you, Snowbear, for the amazing three years. Appreciate that. I suppose I can even move this up one if I want. Make room for the dagger. Like this. They're both technically still in the bag. All right, the bows critting are more important than the dagger here. Right now I'm considering how do I do this with the least amount of bag space used. I think I should put this here. Get all the weird shapes out of there. So we still have uh, activatable item can happen right here. Should probably just put this shield in there for safety's sake. Then go like here and here. Like this. I like this configuration. I'm going to turn this back on its side just for my own sanity. by pineapple. I think pineapple has the biggest function right now. I'm just going to lock this. I'm going to hope that I get space next round. Let's go ahead and roll here. Okay, we found space. Good. With the addition of new space here, and just add these in. It makes more sense to do this. Yeah, we're not in a stamina deficit, so this extra banana is not as important as the multiple um, pineapple synergies. Eleven life steal here. That's a lot of life steal, dude. Oof. Take a look at this bag real quick. So double spike shield, double acorn ring. That's a really nice bag. I like that one. What does this do? Increase stamina generation by 0.7% for each buff you have. Every five you gain three of the buff you have the least of. True. 
Uh, adding Hungry Bladen here is, um... That can happen. Yeah, it says high stamina. 1.6 is not actually that high on stamina usage, though. Absolutely a way to do everything we want here. And it's got to start with accessing uh, this piece. Unlock the crown. I like the crown. Well, maybe I do want one. I'm gonna lock both these. I'm gonna load these in. We got like a chance to maybe make it to survival. Though this build is not gonna go to survival mode if we make it that far. What is this thing? Oh yeah, Belladonna's Whisper. Do I have the recipe for this yet? I don't think so. I think it's poison potion, or maybe the uh, bigger poison potion. All right, schmoovin. Ooh. Another crit ring, huh? Pretty tough to pass this up. Since we're gaining luck on activation, potentially, it's like maybe maybe the acorn ring's not as good. But I think a little bit too tough to pass up, regardless. Alright, well, if I go like this, I can free up this three slot. Just save here. Yo, Caleb86, thanks for 43 months. Really appreciate that continuation. Thank you. All right, it's going to be a toughie for us here. They're gaining tons of damage uh, with every hit. Triple mana orb. Holy guacamole. All right, let's just hope for the best here. This is, this is nice, but not good enough to buy for 12 at the moment. Healing potion, though, maybe. Nah, let's just save for next round. Alright, good luck, good luck to me. Gonna need it. Oof, that is a, that's a bag. Man, Belladonna's Whisper is really nice. Alright, uh, that was an okay round. Not bad. Didn't quite get where we were going, but we did okay. Okay, we're gonna buy Banana here. Um, half off Herb, sure. I'm gonna buy this Walrus Tusk half off as well. Um, I should probably buy this weapon just to have a weapon this round. Alright, early goobs is good. Early pan also seems nice here.
Belfort 2. Maybe not Pan. Let's go like this. Oh, wow. This bag is nigh impossible to defeat this early. 45, uh, 45 armor is nuts. A broom is sounding good. Well, to begin here, let's, uh, set up our goobs. I sold the tusk here for the garlic. We probably have a better round this time. The spike shield's a little weird. It's definitely not bad to have still. Let me do one more config here. Yeah, I guess with this setup, one side's always going to be weak here, so we can just put this on one side, and then like this, this. Now you're thinking with goobs. Kind of tempted to buy Jim a uh, box of riches here. Facing's an issue right now. Let's just roll here. Alright, well, here's our spike shield. We outlast him with Goobert. Nice job, nice job. Well, I want to have the shield on one side here. I guess we can do this. That's another option here.
Yeah, the kind of issues the broom right now is the weird, weird spacing. Since we only have the four squares in this one, we can't fit the four on one side. is not uninteresting. mana generation so far, but still 5 to 7 every 2 seconds versus what here? 2 to 4? That's an improvement. Also improvement here. I suppose with our increased stamina, it's not all that helpful to have it that way. That's okay. Storm, 32, 145. Thanks for 116 months. Thanks, dude. Spear, spear seems okay here. Um, getting poison goobert is interesting. What does poison goobert do? Cleanse to inflict four. Kind of removes our healing source, which is tough. Some mana generation for the staff would definitely advisable here. I'm gonna buy this on sale. You can get Mana Torch, too. Yeah, all right, all right. I feel like I'm not quite ready for Poison Goober. the moment I think I'd probably prefer the herbs over this uh sure Okay, I keep, need to keep our eye out for other sources of mana gain. Any mana gain, in fact, is uh, supreme at the moment. Still think Poison Goobert's a little dubious right now. Blood Goobert, though.
Yeah, let's go for our blood goobs. Okay, that, that's the bag. This is where poison goob would have been pretty cool. Fair enough. we go for the the lock here because we're we already have a um yeah we already have a flex for that okay i need sources of mana gain okay we can light the coal on fire with this torch which is great in which a second goob happens here? It almost seems like maybe. Could even make poison goob technically here. Hmm. Yeah, what if we just get Poison Goob going this round? It's tempting. I mean, all right. I think this looks pretty good. Now you're thinking with goobs. Very interesting bag. Wow, double mana thirst with another mana orb. That's nuts. Where's my mana orbs, dude? Dang. Once those buffs went off, we got in trouble. Whew. I think right now we drop the magic staff to take Ripsaw Blade. Well, maybe not. That even ups our stamina more. No, I think we should buy this and then hold for a mana item of any kind. Of any kind, I said.
This is also tempting. I really need the mono regeneration, but I'm, I'm tempted to start going to other stuff. Let's do a roll here. Any form of mono regeneration would be amazing. This is also quite good. Yeah, this is a great goob activator. I'm going to take this. Also, is there any harm in taking another blood amulet? What a weird uh, occurrence this build is. So weird. Should just buy this for this round, too. My build right now is like very inefficient, but also very powerful. It's kind of a strange feeling. Close one. All right. Loot could be a goob activator. Every 11 seconds inflict. Okay, 20% chance to attack health directly. Let's just put that here. Let's put this next to poison goob. Just lock this and we'll roll. Really strange one. Oh, this should be on a weapon to gain mana for the uh, torch. Am I getting hit by here? Oh, I see. Hmm, I wonder if we can sustain this. The answer is no. It's a nice little poison build they had. Five seconds isn't bad there. Weird run, man. I think I'm going to sell the... Let's do a roll here, in fact. Yeah. Yo, Alshi, thanks for 39 months. What's good? Oh, man, they goobin' right now. Dang. 33 poison. Double poison goob? That's an awesome build they have. have one try left, so hopefully we get something good here. I think I'm going to lock this for the other side of Poison Goobert. This has been a really strange one. I've enjoyed it.
Like, we went into a mana build, but then we didn't find any mana generation. Oh. Okay. A new item for me. Ouch. Well, fair enough. I feel like we were on the cusp of greatness on that one. Go into a ranger run here. All right, cheap shield, banana. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this uh, this pan here. All right. I'm just gonna lock all of this. What's high right now? 1.6. Okay, let's sell this and put the... Hmm. Right now, I think armor gain's better than the carrot, though the carrot is very valuable early. Depends on if we face a, a ranger or a, a reaper. cool. I'm going to leave this reserve, but I'm just going to buy the, the herbs to regeneration, which is very nice here. Boy, we had like a series of misses there. Really set us back a little bit. Fair enough. I'm gonna buy the coal. I'm gonna buy this before we reroll too. Yeah, that's interesting to get the uh Strong stone skin potion built right now. Four dollar armor. All right, yes, I guess I will. Thank you. 
guess by choosing to do it this way, we're only getting two things on the pan here. That's fair. Do a roll here. Okay. Room makes shovel. I think it's a little bit late for shovel, though. Let's just lock the health potion. Gloves are probably an okay lock here, too. Though, I'm not going to lock the gloves, so if I do end up getting, like, a blood gem, I have the armor to go into. That's uh, not uninteresting. Only 1.5, so not unreasonable here either. Like 1.5 seconds, not the worst. I should get a good banana. Should be able to. their shovel shadow. It's good. Crownless early is like kind of uh, spicy. I don't think I'm quite ready to drop the pan yet, though I'd like to. Yeah, maybe I am. You can do a nice potion stack here for the Hungry Blade. Uh, the crown is what the book was, so it, it cleanses blind and heals for five. Poison's getting a little out of control here. It's fair. It's a nice build.
Crown does have a secondary mana effect, yes. Ah, I see. I didn't regenerate health there. Interesting. Ooh. Still think it's best off like this. Oh, this didn't combine this time. Bummer. Fair, though. Fair. I think Leaf might actually still be our best go right now. We do have some thorns. Let's take Leaf here, though. Get to use regeneration to make vampirism on the hungry blade. I think also right now we should have it looking like this. Let me put the crown here. Still four, okay. Really just need more inventory space is what we need here. Okay, well, I want both the ring and the clover. Ring's probably more important at the moment than the clover to have in the bag. Okay, here we go. fair. Yeah, birds always appreciated. For 5-2, that's really tempting. Pose to selling armor on this round. All right, there it is. That's the one. So it's not hitting banana, and that's okay. Three, 
I really need uh, the inventory space here to make this work. I think uh, pineapple is very acceptable too. Sell coal this round to get the fanny pack. I think I'm going to do that just to have it not reserved. Yo, the Tigers of Hole. Thanks so much for making it official with Prime. Glad you're enjoying enough to even consider. Thanks, dude. Alright, now we're cooking. We got six star here. Oh, frankly, Thorn Whip was probably quite good there, too. I forgot about the combination of the Hungry Blade and the Thorns. I like, I like second Hungry Blade here. We have 1.2. Okay, if we have it this way, the banana needs to be in the... the bag here. Seems more like it. Hmm. Well, since we're on medium stamina, we probably don't want both of the blades inside of the fanny pack. So let's swap out these bags right here. Use a roll. Please be inventory space. No? Okay. No problem. I actually think I might be dropping the armor on this round to facilitate a better setup. Also, if I can make a three tall, I can have double pestilence potion into the strong health potion. Like this. And then here as well. It's definitely a temptation. Let's make the bird the activator here. Okay. Yo, Foltar, thanks for 25 months. Appreciate that quarter century. Thank you. And of course, pineapple is good here as well. So tricky.
All right, I'm going to sell the armor. I just don't see how we're going to fit everything in. <laughs> Swapping over for... Holy armor is not bad here. Because we do have uh, one holy item. What's the activation on this? Every... Three seconds. God, this is a... Uh... Quite a conundrum I find myself in. Okay, let's go like this. Okay, this looks great, but it didn't leave us a spot for either of our potions. I guess we're going to give up on this then. Let's just roll here. That's good. Do double pineapple? What the hell? Okay, this is also holy. I'm going to trade one hungry blade for the lightsaber. I guess that's our next like four rounds here. Yikes. Let's see what happens. Ooh, double torch. That's spicy. Surprise we won that. Is also hitting the pineapple. That's nice. Let's roll. Okay. Oh, that's another holy item right here. That's tempting. Maybe we're okay without the lightsaber. Let's reserve this. Bloodthorn Double Corrupted Crystal, huh? All right. Their build is nicer than mine's because it's creating thorns here. That's fair. I, uh, I don't disagree. Tells for four. Okay, good enough. It's a really weird build, man. Really weird. Ooh, that damage. Wow. Take a look at this bag real quick. That's a great one. Falcon Blade plus Magic Torch and Ruby Well. Fair enough. All right, let's do one more run here on Reaper. All right, I mean, first round shovel is uh, tempting. I guess Piggy too, and might as well. Oh, 
probably just lock banana here. Oh, let's actually sell the sand here and buy banana. All right, good luck to me. I'm going to lock this broom. I'll shovel and broom next round. buy this for the spike shield, but I think I'm going to pass on it. Where's it going to go? <laughs> wow, I got lucky there. So what happened here is we stacked up to five blinds. So They're 25% chance to miss, and then our poison took over, though. Uh, they did miss at a very opportune time for us, for sure. All right, now we're goobin'. Now you're thinking with goobs. I think I just make poison goob right now. We don't have the inventory space to put all our stuff anyways, so it seems like the opportune time to do that. Also going to sell piggy bank and buy coal here. Okay. So having blind with the enemy having hammer is should be okay for us. Let's see, get really lucky here. Hammer already has very low accuracy, so it's very hard for them to hit me. Not really a convenient way to do this. The thing we're going to have to do is sacrifice one of the four sides of the Goobert. Becomes a question of which. Certainly this looks adequate for this round. I'm going to go ahead and grab a dagger here. Do a roll. Yeah, I don't mind making staff here. I think I will. Let's do that this round, in fact.
there be? Yoinks. Most certainly open to the idea of poison potion here. Poison dagger. Lesson I keep learning is I think it might be better to have uh, Goobert not be Poison Goobert in the early game to like maybe round eight or so. So if we were getting heals from Goobert, that would have worked out fine. But since we're not, it's tough. Probably buy this just to have it. Yeah, I agree. Any amount of HP regeneration in the early game is very, um, very powerful. Wow, a pineapple right here? Thorn Whip 2? That's crazy. Okay, this is 1, this is 0.5. We're probably dropping Shovel here and maybe picking up Thorn Whip. Just Pineapple here is also legit. Put Pineapple here. I'm going to toss Blueberry here, too, because it does make mana for the staff. Where do I want the fanny pack to be? I think just right in here works good. All right, no thorn up here. We're stacking up poison at a pretty radical rate right now. On stun, triggers extra attack. This and Star Games have one percent actually one percent crit chance per debuff on opponent. I think we're just gonna go through the uh the for the vampirism here. Got kind of a natural synergy happening.
Yeah, the other way is the only way it works, huh? really good though 10% of dealt damage let's throw that on here uh, got a roll for inventory space okay mana orb is actually really good right now Ooh, mana thirst as well okay okay I would say we're cooking can I manufacture 13 right now yes I can Here we go. Oh, I missed that coal and storage. Fair enough. We're at point nine right now. Okay, on hit, gain one mana, 20 mana gain, steal 10 life, increase by one for each vampirism, and then on three, deal plus six damage, increase damage by two. So every three hits here, plus the blueberry, looks pretty nice. Like, helmet looks cool too, ripsaw blade seems fine. Let's just buy this and then roll. Wow. I think we just buy boots here to improve the bag this round. Also, now that we're on low stamina, this is making a lot of sense. All right, let's buy boots to have them and then lock this. You've been bibbity bobbin. Dang. I feel like this is yet another situation where a second goob kind of makes sense because we're pretty flush on space right now. Like, if I go like this... It's like not even that hard to get goob in here and have it be good. Big fan of just taking this as well. It's like a huge amount of defense.
I'm kind of thinking is like it's right now just dropping goob right here is pretty awesome. There's nothing, nothing wrong with it. Hey, we can even make vampirism goob here. Let's go ahead and do that this round. Yeah, all right. I'm going to keep this as well. I'm going to lock the shields. Shields really good on one side of Goober if we end up getting to that. Neat. That's pretty sick. Get him, goobs. All right, their build would be much better if I was not purging the poison from them. It's still a nice build, but it's not going to persist us. Ooh, another mana orb here is really good. Question is, where do we get the mana orb put in? I think blueberry is also a no-brainer here for mana game. Probably selling a coal to pick this up. All right, y'all, our ads are about to play. You're just going to stay in a stretch real quick. Use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. Let the ads play. Thanks a lot. Does support. If not, totally understand. Be back in a few minutes regardless for some more backpack battles.
All right, we're clear. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. I was looking at the bag here, and I'm trying to figure out where I can squeeze in the mana orb to have, you know, a good effect here. Oh, that's right. We have the the shield we have not created yet with this combination. Um, I don't have this yet, but if I remember correctly, it's very good for us. It's a way for us to use mana. So let's make this recipe on this uh, run and see how it goes. So I think we go here, and then we go like this. Yeah, Moon Shield. It's a new one to me. Um... Yo, no life, Ryan. Thanks for 97 consecutive months. Really appreciate that. Thank you. I guess I can go like this and then, uh... Sell the coal. Uh, Blood Guru is not a weapon, so I don't believe the Lock Lifter does anything there. Worth thinking about, though. You can also see the Torquilla being really good here. But I think with Double Goob, I should pass on this, because it's, like, it's a space issue with the shield and the Double Goob already. Yo, Euro MD, thanks for 126 months. Cheers to that. Thank you, thank you. We're going to survive mode for sure, man. A nice build here. All right, let's check this out. Star items give 30% extra block for every 12 block they gain, gain one mono. On attack, 30% chance for 12 damage. So this was, it would have been better to leave it not Moonshield, but now we have the recipe made, so that's cool. Also, another pineapple here is looking pretty dope. We get the vampirism armor. This would be really good next to it. Suppose we could probably work garlic next to this too. Boy, that's a toughie. I'm going to roll again. That's not nothing. The armor is tempting because if we end up getting the, uh, the armor here, it's nice. Just lock these two. I'm going to put the uh, other one here and then put the armor next to the shield. And then if we get another blood gem, then we can have a very good synergy. One twelve, though. Excuse me, sirs. Yeah, we got crit out of that one. Big old sword crits. Hmm. 
I think I'll pass on the effect here and get uh, two more food synergies. Seems fine. Ooh, what does this make? Oh, that's right, Staff of Unhealing, maybe? Let's check it out. I want to see the recipe. Ooh, that's a lot of a lot of vampirism they got. Mm, we still got a chance here. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That is an improvement. Staff of Unhealing. I guess. Yeah, we'll figure out the rest here in a moment. Probably gonna grab the potion here as well. Okay, here's armor potion for this. That's probably worth it. Sell for two. I'm gonna lock this too. Let's forget these for now. Okay, no healing for us is what this uh, this bag says. I still pulled it out there. Their bag's crazy. Double Kappa Discomfort, 60% lower healing here, 80. Yeah, 95% reduced healing. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we can make the big stones potion here as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this, and then next round we will put the crown down here. Let's read what Staff of Unhealing does. Every two seconds heal for ten, use six mana for two seconds, healing also deals damage. That seems fair. Do I actually have a way to make the get enough mana to activate the crown? I'm thinking the answer is no with the staff on healing here. Feels like a no. Wow. Another pineapple? This is also tempting, so I can put this on the other side of the armor potion, too, and get a really massive amount of armor at the start. But pineapple, though. Let's just lock the pineapple and then roll. All right, $3 here. I'll buy that, and then pineapple it up next round. I buy speed bag too. <laughs> 
Take a look at this bag real quick. Okay, tons of potions and empowerment. Mana daggers. It's a cool bag. What's this? Start a battle, gain 40 maximum health. Every three seconds, you use a bunch of stuff to get 20 maximum health. You know, uh, just for 40 max healthier, I think uh, Gingerbread Jerry looks awesome. I don't think the triggering effect actually matters all that much there. Let's do this. Let's see. He okay, activated the crown right away. Mercy. All right, we got him. That is an improvement here. Okay. Yeah, Lamp would be really good for activating Jerry. I agree. Ooh, six empowerment right away. It's spicy, dude. Ooh, I got crit out of that one. Fair enough. All right, nice round. Plus 17. That feels good. All right, let's do one more with Ranger here. Well, as an opener, this looks pretty decent. We can go Torch on one and Whetstone in between. A little extra max HP from the Piggy, too.
Ooh, lucky. Ooh, a carrot this early? Man. Gonna buy carrot here. The, the poison cleanse is immensely useful. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna skip the shield and uh, thorn. I normally take this, but it's space issues with already having the armor. build. I think we're going to outlast this card build because we have the armor. Six regeneration is pretty massive, though. We'll see. Nice. Good crits. Alright, what exactly does this do again? Start a battle. Weapons gain two damage. Okay, that's good for us. Also... Let's go like this, like this, and let's go banana here, here, carry it here. Yeah, it's a good, uh, a good one, micro. Honestly, this legendary shield at one percent chance to appear. I should probably just equip that. This armor is nice, but. The shield is pretty OP at the moment. a little more HP to work with. Huh. I'm just going to hold here so I can maybe buy a inventory slot and the shield. Fair. There's some good blocks there. We can keep shield and armor. Don't really want to, but seems possible.
Okay, on sale here. That's good. Also like the idea of getting a spike shield in here too, but then we're so heavy on equipment. Let's go for it and see what happens. Uh, let's sell the piggy now. I kind of want to buy the uh, the dagger because then we can get it move next to the hero sword, which again gives it plus damage. Now the thorn whip's also tempting because on hit we gain thorns and we have two bananas, which means we could feasibly run uh, hero sword and thorn whip together. A pretty good effect. Have to drop torch for that. We're also losing armor like off the top if I do that as well. I'm just gonna buy the dagger and then we're gonna hope that stuff that we want appears. Ooh, another one. For one? Okay. Gloves not untempting here either. Lock these. Also lock this for poison dagger. Why not? Wow, 11 vampirism here? That's crazy. Looking like we don't have the damage for that. That's a really strong bag. Yeah, there's a goobert. I feel like I'm probably dropping the armor now. Oh, hey, I can actually make steel goob here. That's interesting, because steel goob would gain more armor off of the Shield of Valor. I have a legitimate concern here that if I um, if I don't find a weapon next round after doing this, we could be more or less dead in the water. But I gotta believe here. Definitely an issue not having a banana in already. That uh, looks pretty good, though. Let's check it out. 
Yeah, there we go. Get Ripsaw Blade next turn. I like it. That could happen. Good. And we already have damage issues right now. To me, it feels like my bag it could just uh, like take off all of a sudden, depending on what happens here. Not out of the question. Uh, this is pretty tough to pull off with blood goob or steel goob. Probably just going to take poison ivy. Wow. This game right now. Let's get Poison Dagger working. I'm going to roll here. Some really nice stuff showing, but I just don't have the, the stuff for it. We hold on to the armor here. Is that actually better? star. Yeah, okay. We outlasted him. Steel Goob is doing the work, man. All right, well, here's like some acceptable weapons. We don't currently have regeneration. Uh, point eight, point six. I think this round I buy these two. Yeah, with no regeneration activations is tough. But if I don't find a weapon, like we're really just leaving damage on the ground right now. go like this and then I'll buy this here. I'm going to get the uh, lightsaber next round. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. So actually we want the weapons set up differently here. Weapons gain plus two damage. True. Well, it's a little bit of a lazy play, but I'm going to wait to rearrange my bag until next round. Okay. 
All right, cool. With the addition of this and this, we should be able to make a very nice bag here. Let's just uh, pull this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the Ranger bag sideways. And then we're going to put Steel Goobert above that. It's like shield like this, shield like this. Uh, and then we put the weapons here below Goobert. So they're getting the active effect in percent crit. Okay, torch is out. There we go. It's going to make our bag a lot easier to manage. The only kind of bummer I see here is that I'm not going to be able to get the extra extra armor from the armor like this. I think it'd be better to set up a, a nicer synergy on this side since Gubert's making armor as well. Can probably get a pretty decent leaf in this type of scenario. Yo, Mr. Morden, thanks for 31 months. Cheers. I really kind of want to hold on to this because if I end up getting a blood gem, it's like a perfect synergy with Goobert here. I'm going to roll. There it is. Blood gem. Ooh, Ripsaw Blade too. Oh, man. Boy, how do you tell you what? Mana Thirst uh, Ripsaw Blade. Not bad. All right, here we go. I'm going to pass on the Mana Thirst. Wow, that's a lot of luck. Yeah, crit with bow is serious, man. Ooh, dark saber as well. That's spicy. attack, use one mana to inflict one blind. Okay, well, this is the most important piece right now. Just sell for four. Yeah, that's a tough one.
I'm gonna have to redo the bag once we have vampiric armor. Now it's a question if I want to make Dark Saber and stick with Hungry Blade, or if I want to swap to Ripsaw Blade. I think swapping Ripsaw Blade here is actually pretty strong. Alright, cool. Yeah, we do have high stamina usage here. We do have decent double banana, though. I think it's manageable. Spicy boy. I think we're done for here. Maybe not? Oh yeah. Close. Okay, now we have a very interesting uh, synergy here. We're gonna go like, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna get extra armor. Convert 30 health into 60 armor, which is 30% more now. Every three seconds, convert 10 health into 20 armor, which is then 30% more, too. We put this here. Okay, let's get the Dark Saber, and let's also buy this. Put the blueberry next to Gubert. We'll figure out where this is going to go. Seems likely there. That looks, um, pretty good. Jin lamp's interesting. I think, I think I might. Luck Thorns Mono. Okay, no. Could very technically get more armor from armor potion here too. Oh, I'm off one s slot on this. I see. Hmm. There we go. Hard to pass this up. I must admit, though, that the uh, the bird here pointing at the bananas kind of fixes a lot of problems for us. The lack of inventory space to make that a reality at the moment. But like, could we do something like this? That looks pretty sweet. I'll lock this. Throw carrot over here. Okay. Do one roll. Ooh, what? Oh, 
Well, it'd be best if the bird was going faster. Hard turn down pineapple. Hard turn down double blood gym too. I mean, dang. Let's go for the sale blood gym and the pineapple. Ooh, poison city right here, dang. She offset that poison pretty good. some weirdness there. I feel like dropping Lux Gray here. Let's drop the uh, carrot for now. Okay. Who had thirteen blind there? Wow. Well, I accept. That was a pretty good round. Um, this build was very close to being like an indestructible monster. Didn't quite get there. All right, let's do uh, one more run here on Reaper. This is like a pretty easy opener. I'm just going to take one of everything, please. I'm going to buy the uh, Walrus Tusk, but not use it yet. Alright, sweet. Better lucky than good. This works out nice. Bit of a beaut. I actually rather have the armor regeneration than the faster poison right now. I don't know why, that's my thought. Stop hitting me on the head with a pan. I'm legit surprised we lost that round. Hmm. I mean... Not too late to make shovel, but I can also just lean in more on food here, which looks pretty good.
Mm -hmm. Here, the damage on the pan's not very important on this round. Like, I really want the shield inside the coffin. Okay, we're not getting shoveled that way. All right, I'm going to lock these two because we can use them right after the fact. Also going to slide this down. There we go. <laughs> He's got a goobs. Watch out. We got a shovel. All right, at low stamina, I'm going to put the uh, shovel like this. I like putting it this way because it gives us uh, more freedom. I feel like there must be a way to get a better... Uh, configuration inside the backpack here. I think for continuity's sake, I should move the uh, shield down to the bottom here so it's touching the shovel. This gives us a better idea of how to place the rest of our units. There we go. It looks nice. Let's uh, roll it. Uh, wow. I'm gonna lock the Hungry Blade, and I'm gonna buy Healing Herbs. Okay. Death Scythe is also tempting. I just don't have the Poison Synergy for it at the moment. Definitely worth considering. That's really promising we were able to stack up that much poison. Ooh, another herb here. All right, all right. Strong start. may be in our best interest right now to uh, buy the healing herbs. Let's sell a stone. Let's buy the uh, other fanny pack and the uh, healing herbs here. I'm going to lock the inventory space, of course. Taking the shield out of the guaranteed slot here to fit another banana. Unconvinced. Here's the play I'm going to choose. I'm going to move a fanny pack off of the these items. I'm going to put it on the, the shield here, which is certainly a concession, but a concession that opens up uh, a much better placement here. Huh. Well, I don't disagree.
Once we have this, we'll have a much better assessment. I think it's better to drop one of the garlics right now to have the second herb since we're gaining vampirism on hit. We're having regeneration. Yo, Phoenix Rising. Thanks for 42 months, dude. Got yourself the answer. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. All right. Very hard to imagine Goobert being wrong here. So I'm gonna keep it like this. Just the just the shield on the one side for now. Now you're thinking with goobs. Like, dang, dude. I think we might lose this one to the just raw amount of armor they have. We do have a lot of thorns so that might catch up to us in the end. Ooh, might be okay here. That's a really surprising win. Our build is pretty powerful at the moment. I'm really liking the idea of buying flute here. A good flute. Buy goobs. I'll do it. So Flute randomly gives stuff. Cannot give the same effect twice in a row. There we go. Seven item Flute. Cool. Luke could also make a very decent Goobert activator here. Let's think about that. Maybe I push this back. Like put one of the herbs in here and then like this. I see, it's gotta be unique items, right? So, this is... I mean, it's six right there, but not seven like we had before with this one. of the herbs behind seems bad. Seven item flute. Hit him with the tootly tootsin. Yeah, 
inventory space, please. Oh, I think we're just going for uh, vampirism here. Where that's the kind of build that we already have. Oh, man. What? What? I don't have space for all of these amazing things that I want to get pick up here. Uh, the fluid gives randomly armor, stamina, or um, luck, and it will not give the same effect twice in a row. Okay, well, we definitely want to get vampiric armor going. Also, maybe just buying the ruby egg here is a good play. We could additionally choose to make blood goob instead of uh, instead of the armor. Just the vampiric armor is really powerful, especially at the state we're currently in. It's uh, it's a very, very good um, pickup here. It's a great goober to activator and a lot of other good stuff too. Okay, well, what if? Like this or something. Okay. Still a pretty okay flute. Not awesome, but, you know, adequate. Simply not enough bag space without making a major concession here to get armor in. Hmm. All right, quick restroom break for me, then we're going to probably redo the entire bag. Got some choices to make here. It's a really nice store. Alright, I'm back. Austria, thanks so much for 20 months. Appreciate that very much.
Thank you all for that amazing sports today. Devil's Prodigy, thank you for almost 70 months as well. Cheers. Let's see what the difference between the armor and blood goob is. Every three seconds, convert 10 health into 20 armor versus blood goob, gain two vampirism, six item activation, steal 10 life, increased by one for each vampirism. I like this because it's a passive regeneration. Yo, Sir Emery, thanks for 96 months. Right on. Uh, for stars, let's pull everything out of the bag. Let's just uh, begin again here. All right, so this is probably the bag setup we want with goobs. Okay, this goes here. Probably plugging the vampiric armor right in the side on that one. All right, let's commit to making vamp Puric armor this round. Uh, I do need to sell something for two. What is that? Maybe just a banana here. Maybe rock and coal. I think that's where we're at right now. I'd love to lock this other stuff, but we have three, five, seven, nine inventory slots unfilled. So I don't think locking more space away is uh, a good idea. Inventory space, yes. Okay, we need this. Probably garlic here. Amanita here as well. Let's do a roll. Gloves could be amazing if we get another uh, activator too. Well, okay, hold on. Looking at this... What if we move this down here? Activate the other side, and then we move this stuff over. That's nice. That's a seven star flute. Not indecent just to make poison goob here as well. I think let's make poison goob actually. So let's turn this on its side and we'll take a lesser flute this round to make poison goob. Still a pretty nice uh, flute. 
All right. Roll time. Eh. Ooh, I didn't see that. Another one, huh? Looks pretty awesome. Take a look at their bag here. Why did this fail? Because they were just going for heart container. And I think the double corrupted crystal here on the torch is probably a little inefficient. All right, now we're goobin. I think it'd be pretty advantageous now to drop the, uh, drop the shovel for a second hungry blade. The Wolpertinger. Increase stamina regeneration by 0.7% for each buff that you have. Uh, okay. buy this and then roll it okay so we can make uh what's the name of this thing bloodthorn right now which should bring our stamina cost to 1.7 but it gives us vampirism and thorns on hit that seems pretty good And I'm also just liking the double hungry blade right now. Like definitely Bloodthorn's an improvement on the system, but it's tough. We're gonna go into Bloodthorn. I would want to uh, drop one of the Hungry Blades this round. I think that's probably a fair thing to do. What I like about having double Hungry Blade right now is it's activating my Vampirism much faster. So we're kind of in like more of a fatigue build um, arena right now. Also, armor potion activates almost immediately, so it's quite good with the vampiric armor. 
Okay, let's sell rock here and also sell lump of coal to buy a potion. And we'll go from there. Wow, holy crap. So... If I can get this shield plugged into this build uh, next to these three things, it increases our armor generation by 30%. That's really good. Getting that set up, though, is uh, functionally difficult. What might actually be best here is dropping the flute to facilitate this move. Seems basically a certainty. <laughs> wow. That sneeze snuck out at me like huge. Sorry for no mute there. It simply was not time. Okay, I mean, this is the config that hits all of the things. You can see the complication, though, is we're not getting uh, a good flute right now. I also have, like... This is a possibility. It's a really weak flute, but it's still a flute. And then even maybe selling Ruby to put another flute here to have double flute. What about like this? Okay. This is every five seconds versus every three seconds. Yeah. I guess moving these over to this side eventually could work, but um, I'm kind of liking the second flute a lot. Sec, blow my nose here. All 
All right. Hmm. I think going more into this uh, loot is a good idea. Right now, these fanny packs are a little misplaced. I'm going to sell the ruby here. I'm going to buy this flute. I'm quite curious about the uh, bird as well. If I get the bird over here hitting everything, it should be pretty sick. <laughs> oh, man. What a bag. What a bag. Okay, I'm gonna go here. This is a really, really weird one. Maybe I shouldn't lock the bird because I'm so shy on inventory space here. Yeah, let's hold let's hold off on locking the bird. I already have ten spaces I need filled. The armor gain is significant right now. Oh, we're definitely going to check out survival mode here. We're uh, clean sweeping right now. Difficult to turn down a pineapple. Let's roll. How do I feel about one of these being a Ripsaw Blade? I think pretty good. I feel like Ripsaw Blade and this together uh, have a very high function functionality. Strong build right here. So the reason this build is dangerous is that the weapons are going to gain damage continually, so they're going to keep hitting harder and harder. So it's like a, it's a DPS race for us. Looks like we're winning the race, though. Thank God. Okay, so I'm going to sell Hungry Blade here. We're going to put Ripsaw in the mix. I'm legit wondering if Spike Shield is out right now. Thank you. 
Not bad. Hmm. This is actually amazing because it gives us continual vampirism, but where does it go? Probably have to drop a flute for it at least. I don't know, this is pretty on point for our build. I think the spike shield might just be on its way out right now. Could also choose to make a advanced health potion to make a space here. Oh, that's nice. If that's nice, how does this look? What if this was up here, though? No, oh, that ain't bad. Still connected to the shield is or the um yeah, shield. Eh. I kind of like it. Looks decent. I'm going to do that. Do I just want to sell a spike shield this round? Not really. Let's do a roll here. Oh my god. I got to figure out how to make this work. Also, another flute? On sale, so we can always sell it back for the same amount. Let's just reserve the shield here and, uh... Well, let's see what happens. We meet our match here? We did. That's fair. Okay, good. Inventory space here and the shield. So now we gotta figure out how to configure this again.
All right. One of these is not on there anymore, is it? Yeah, it's got to be like, got to be like this. Let's move this down here. I kind of think the uh, the armor potions actually with leaves right now. That helps. All right, weird bag, man. But cool. Hit him with the flutely flutesons. Well, that ensures we're going to sur finish survival mode. Oh my god. Is there some way to finagle this? There has to be, right? Okay, so this is like just nutty block and armor generation. How do I work this into getting more, even more armor out of it? I mean, sure, I can put like flute here for, you know, additional effect. Maybe like flute here as well. Okay, I think I see a way to improve this. We turn this on its side, then we can move this over, and then we can have one of the flutes uh, touching both of the shields. Great, and we're not getting faster activation here. We are getting the double armor boost. If we go like this, we can put this facing down, and we can put this facing to the side. It's going to be about as good as we're going to do. Do I just buy another flute right now? I might. Yo, Pezzer, thanks so much for 58 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. You know what? I'm going to sell a banana here to pick up another flute. I mean, this is the build right now. It's 
So I'll move the uh, garlic next to the thing here. What a bag. Three holy shields giving 30% extra block each. Vampiric armor converting health to armor. And then four flutes, which give a random reward, um, which can be 14 armor. Uh, now improved by the shield. Okay. I think we win this one because we're clearing poison off. This is another fatigue build, but we're clearing their main damaging effect, and we're gaining armor really fast. Woohoo! 400 armor right now. You kids in, though? Okay, that's uh, definitely helpful. How this fits in, though, is a difficult uh, maneuver. Probably uh, plop it right here for now. Hit him with the doodly dootsin. I just put the pineapple on the bottom here like this probably do a roll here in fact looking for even more space hey okay, uh, that's pretty good let's go for it One reason I'm kind of tempted to buy the heart here and try to find a spot for it, uh, I'd have to get something up, probably this garlic, um, is that if we get this heart worked in, we're gaining regeneration every second, and then we're able to turn that into vampirism. So we get an increasingly high amount of vampirism. Though, thinking about how this build functions with how much armor we're creating, I think just buying the pineapple here is the best call. Uh, one, it fits into the system really well right now. Okay, we'll lock that. All right, here we go. What does this thing do? 35% lifesteal. This fight's concerning because when they get to 33 mana, they're going to gain a bunch of random buffs. Maybe a bit much for us. And they're hitting through health. So this is probably a match for us. Fair. We're still surviving the, the rounds no matter what here. Okay, I'm going to buy... Hey, you too, Great Rain. Hope you have a nice one. Cheers. That will very technically do more than armor. We still have any space now. We have one slot remaining, period. So it's like, what do we want to put in there? Maybe one more of these is good. Ooh, what is this going to do in armor? Oh yeah, this is really good. Can I buy this right now? No, but I will buy it next round to put in the armor. We're definitely creating debuffs.
Wow, armor v armor here. This is a matter of does my poison win this out or not? I think it might. Actually, what's going to win this out for us is maybe the thorns if we do win. No, they got too much armor generation. Can't believe we ran into a build that's making more armor than we are. Okay, Moon Shield's really good in a build like this. Got it. Bird could be really ridiculous. Hitting the flutes and not the other way around. I don't know about that. Not really space for bird here. shield. I don't think we're going to survive, but if we do, it's going to be awesome. Honestly, I'm going to sell this and buy the gems if we survive. I guess it's our last round, so I should have done that. It's fair. Should be gaining rating on this one no matter what. We got Moon Shield instead of uh, the three Holy Shields. I think this build will be basically S tier. It's still very good, don't get me wrong, but it would have been uh, even better with Moon Shield instead of the multiple Holy Shields. All right, there you have it. Yo, plus 16, let's go. Yeah, it seems like the, the armor slash mana builds are kind of um, pretty heavy in the new meta. Seems cool. Well, all right, everybody, that's going to conclude our show today. Thanks for the great time, wonderful company, awesome conversation. Really enjoyed our Spelunky 2 Cray Crust and Chain Challenge, plus, uh, plus this backpack battles. Definitely be some more sh streams in the uh, 
the coming days here that we do have Bellatra releasing on the 20th and then this game goes into uh, early access on March 8th as well excited for both those titles but uh, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow for some more fun um, appreciate all your company questions comments conversations support all that stuff that makes this amazing place possible to enjoy video games to other people appreciate you all very much be back and at it again uh, soon discord for updates as always until then keep it dapper and be good to each other that's all I got for today Frag out <laughs>